Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. My name is Lonnie Dries. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, December 20th, 2022. Now let's do today's relaxing breathing exercise. Now turn the palms of your hands so that they're facing forward and stretch your fingers long. Keeping your arms straight, slowly float them up from your sides. Feel how wide your hands can reach to the side and then up. Reach a little higher if it feels okay for your body. Now let your arms come down and return to your sides. That was so relaxing. Now let's learn a new word with word of the day. Santiago, I just wanted to tell you that I genuinely appreciate your help for helping me on that test. You're welcome. I can tell that you were truly appreciative. Yeah, without your help, I feel like I wouldn't have gotten the grade I got. It gave me genuine pleasure to help you. I can definitely tell. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Word of the day. Now let's see what happened today in history with Sophia. Thank you, Melanie. Hey, Patriots. In today's history, on December 20th, 1812, Grimm's Fairy Tales by Jacob Grimm and Willem Grimm was first published. Grimm's Fairy Tales are a German collection of fairy tales by the Grimm brothers. These tales are often sold to kids about German culture. You may know some of their most popular tales such as Cinderella, Snow White, Rapunzel, Little Red Riding Hood, and much more. The purpose of these tales were to keep German culture living forever and being known to other communities. I never knew all these popular tales were so old. I wonder what other famous tales exist from these brothers. Now let's see what's cooking with Hadassah. Thank you, Sophia. Today's lunch is... Taco beef nachos, two cheese sandwich, black beans, mild salsa, pineapple tidbits, and your choice of milk. And tomorrow's breakfast is strawberry banana yogurt, graham crackers, fresh banana, 100% grape juice, assorted cereal, and your choice of milk. Students, keep in mind lunch can change at any time and to always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, now let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Hadassah. Super Patriots, this quarter sectional software challenge is coming to an end in three days. This challenge is coming to an end very soon, so let's keep passing through those lessons. Take a look at the flyer to see what's required. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It's important to make sure your phone is shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget that you're not allowed to chew gum in school. Make sure to spit it out before you enter the building. Students, the Patriots store is open every morning until 7.55. Tomorrow's 5th and 6th graders turn to buy some cool items at the Patriots store. Make sure to bring your tickets. Patriots, keep participating in this month's fun holiday activities. Tomorrow, December 21st, is Gift Glory Day, so bring a small gift for your friends. Patriots, as the holidays are coming closer, we have some more fun holiday magic spreading around the school. Look around for our human elf on the shelf this week. You never know what she could surprise you with. Today's the last day at the holiday shop will be in town. Teachers, take a look at the schedules. I hope all of you went and had fun shopping. Now let's sing along one last time with our favorite holiday song. Hey Patriots, we're here to let you know the Holiday Shop has finally opened. So, Chanel, what do you think about the Holiday Shop opening? I think it's awesome, but I don't know what to get my family and friends. Don't worry, we got you.
Christmas Patriot. We wish you a Merry Christmas and such happiness in the coming year. Happiness in the coming year. Yes. Set the halls up right. Strip the woods so tight. Ornaments for the tree. A snowman up in It's so sad that the holiday shop is leaving town. Teachers, the annual holiday door decorating contest is coming to an end today. Winners from first through third place will be announced soon. I can't wait to see who won. Attention all cheerleaders. Cheer camp is January 2nd through 5th. Any 5th through 8th graders interested in cheer tryouts, they will be held on January 10th. You will need a completed sports packet for both. Good luck to all of you trying out. The holiday show is coming up. It's $5 per person. It will be in the cafeteria at 6 on tomorrow, December 21st. Make sure to come. Patriots, are you a 6th or 7th grader that has an eye for editing? If so, become part of the RPTV crew. We are looking for editors and cinematographers, so make sure to pick up an application outside of room 200 or see Mr. D. Santiago to apply. As you all know, the color run was last week, so let's take a look at some elementary school color run highlights. <laughs> now let's see what the weather's looking like today with Destiny. Thank you, Melanie. Good morning, Patriots. For today's weather, you can expect a rainy 79 degrees Fahrenheit with scattered showers. In other weather news, a weather phenomenon known as pancake ice was seen in Scotland. It was found near a beautiful waterfall. The ice usually starts out as a thin layer but then gets its disc shape from the moving water underneath it. When the discs are formed, they bump into each other, giving it the round pancake shape. As tasty as these seem, you probably shouldn't eat it. Now let's go to Alexander for the birthdays. Thank you, Destiny. Today's birthday boys and girls are Optimus Drummond, Justice Davis, Kai Estevez, Zayan Jimenez, Liam Pies, Ariel Tejada. Happy birthday, now let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Alexander. Patriots, here are your packs expectations. It represent, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Blanc, Ms. Ayndenkwa, and Ms. Silvera. You all have the correct answer to Monday's daily challenge, which was, where did eggnog come from? The correct answer was England. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. Look is wet while drying. Teachers, please send your answers to pinesoutrenaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. When will be announced on the next morning announcements? Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you a terrific Tuesday. Amber, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a good day!